Hey folks, welcome to the channel, welcome to today's episode of Detroit Become Human. This is the, th the third, <coughs> oh, excuse me, like I was trying to say, this is the, the, th the third installment of my playthrough of the game. And so I hope you enjoy it. I will start it very soon. I, I'm gonna... Go to the Be Right Back screen and, and load up the game. So I'll be right back. Now, like I said, I, this is the third installment of my playthrough of Quantic Dreams Detroit Become Human, and I have been enjoying this for a very Remember, long time. You decide the fate of your characters. All of them can die. So, be careful. For those of you who are wondering, where is my face in all of this talking? And it's because I'm, I prefer not to be on camera during YouTube videos. Especially if I'm doing play through like this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go quiet now. Thank you for coming to the channel and watching. And don't forget to subscribe and follow both channels. Thank you.
androids weren't allowed in here. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I apologize, Lieutenant. I didn't mean to bother you. I'll wait for you outside. Take your time. Did you say homicide? Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. 
Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he drove by, see what was going on. That found the bar. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy. It wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Well, I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I I'll be outside if you need me. human rights like this. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked a party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't... Put any more evidence in your mouth, you got it? Got it. <sighs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit.
stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. What's keeping the car? He should have been there a half hour ago. He's on his way. It won't be long now. Come on, guys, get a move on. We don't want to be here all...
Lieutenant, I think I've figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the living room. I think you should look harder at the mess in the kitchen. I think that's where it all started. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... ...with the knife. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. No sense. We gotta stick to the facts. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to. the bathroom. Okay. I've just hit my bullshit quarter for the evening. There's a killer on the loose and I'm wasting my time listening to an android. I'm out of here. Well, folks. You saw me kind of fuck that up. I, I guess I hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh well, that's, that's gonna uh, lead us to a different, uh, di a different, um, kind of ending. Hit, in, in a while down the road here, which to me seemed very interesting. But I say we, we come together tomorrow and find out what's next up in Detroit Become Human. Thank you for watching part three of this game from this game playthrough from me. I'm sorry. Um, I really appreciate the, 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 the views and the um, attention that the video is getting. If you want to see more of me and what I do, I stream over on Twitch. Links to my Twitch page is in the description below. Thank you once again for, for coming and supporting me. And remember to click the subscribe button and, and look listen for notifications from me and I will see you all tomorrow for another installment of Detroit Become Human. Thank you everyone for coming and watching. I love you all. Have a great night. Bye.